Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. The Faculty of Law, KNUST, launched their 15th anniversary on 25th April 2019 at the Faculty Auditorium. The theme for the 15th anniversary was Law, Science and Technology in the 21st Century. There were various dignitary presents. Justice Enimi Abua gave a speech on behalf of Her Ladyship Justice Sophia Akufo. The Vice Chancellor of KNUSD, Professor Kwesi Obridanso, presented a speech on behalf of Honorable Martin Opoku Prempe. It is always a pleasure to find oneself in the midst of important discussions that shape our society and its future in several fundamental ways. Over the past 15 years, this faculty has grown from strength to strength in the delivery of legal education for many seeking to advance careers in the law or simply to broaden their minds further with legal knowledge for other purposes. Through it all, this faculty has become a gold standard and I wish to congratulate faculty and students past and present for their role in bringing this situation, they this institution thus far. I'm confident that your best years are ahead of you and that you will continue to contribute significantly to the development of our human resource needs. Ladies and gentlemen, without that, science and technology have changed our lives beyond recognition in the fields of medicine, agriculture, pharmaceuticals, aviation, telecommunications, and many others, scientific research and innovation have made our lives easier and longer and help increase our life expectancy, especially within the last two decades. Dr. Bafo Ewa from the Ministry of Special Development Initiative gave a speech. I would say that with the ever-changing and positive impact of science and technology in the 21st century, the state of how law relates to science and technology is of critical importance now more than ever. This makes the theme for the celebration very relevant. Mr. Chairman, before I go on, as you may be aware, the Ministry of Special Development Initiative was established in 2007 and mandated to accelerate the implementation of targeted socioeconomic development projects by directing capital expenditure towards constituency level infrastructure and economic development priorities, with particular emphasis on the rural communities. Dr. Manas, you may also recall that His Excellency the President has set apart one million equivalent of Ghana cities, one million dollars equivalent of Ghana cities for each constituency for infrastructure development. And this ministry has been set up to specifically ensure that that the communication takes place. Professor Ellis McDavis from University of Cape Coast gave a goodwill message to the KNUST law faculty. We, uh, from the faculty of law of uh, the University of Cape Coast, have come and celebrated the launch of the university and to congratulate you for your achievement. Uh, we want to assure you that we've been watching your success and work from the distance and we are really encouraged by your achievement. So we want to say congratulations to you to everybody. We want to appreciate all who have worked so hard so that the, the faculty has reached this milestone. To the Vice Chancellor of Cape University, to the Dean, of the faculty of Cape and USD, to the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff, to the students, we want to say congratulations and are you for, for all of you working so hard so that we can all return so well and as you continue to forge ahead, it's our prayer that all who have worked with workers this far will continue to continue so that the successes that you have taught will be consolidated and improved upon. Again, congratulations and thank you. Professor Koshiga from University of Ghana also gave a good real message. 
think a very short message to say congratulations. We are glad to be here. Um, we are impressed by the successes and we hope that it will be consolidated and entrenched. So we we'll join in the celebrations and we wish you well. Thank you so much. Professor Ajanim Watson from King's University gave a goodwill message. It's a pleasure to be part of this occasion. The first time I met students from KNUST was in America. I've spent all my life in America. Those who always participate in modern United Nations. I met Legon. I met students from this university. I was so glad. Even though I was with my wife's students, I was so impressed what my students from Ghana were doing. A few years, Kenya and other things, others came before this, before Kenyans. But the name they have spread is so much. Within 15 years, you've been able to have a law school and you have gone, I uh, haven't finished reading your program, but it looks like PhD and others are coming. It's very fantastic. Keep it up. We are happy to be here. Congratulations. Mr. Michael Owusu from Ghana School of Law gave a brief message. I bring you greetings from the director of the Ghana School of Law and all the academic faculty of the Ghana School of Law. The director of the Ghana School of Law notes with pride the remarkable achievements of the faculty of law here in USD in the first 15 years of the existence. The students of this faculty are always in the majority whenever we have the roll call of honors at the call to the bar ceremony. program that you have also established at this faculty is the MD of May. As you celebrate your 15th anniversary in existence, we congratulate you for the good work that you have done and we tell you that even though we have a soft spot for the University of Ghana where we all train, we know you are now among the best and you are competing not with anyone but against yourselves. Mr. Jan Yaoboaf of Ghana Bar Association also spoke. On behalf of Mr. Anthony Fawcett Jr., the national president, we'd like to say congratulations. Um, we recall with uh, pride the overcoming of principalities and powers when this faculty was voted. We all know what Professor Andam and others had to go through, the late Papa Datsun, and how the former president before and the chancellor of the university. And we all know, I mean, the problems came university had to go through. The people trying to change the rules so that students from KNUSD would not gain admission automatically to the law school. But 15 years and looking at your program, it has been exceptional. But on behalf of the Ghana Bar Association, we'd like to say congratulations. A representative from the total family gave a brief speech. On behalf of the entire Asamoah Tutu family, our mother, Mrs. Patricia Asamoah Tutu, my brothers, sisters, cousins, and the total legal services, present and past um, legal professionals who passed away, and myself, we congratulate you on the celebration of your 15th anniversary. We are extremely humbled and grateful for the honor done our dear father, Thomas Asamoto, to a blessed memory. We recall that on the 21st day of February 1999, at the grand old age of 18, our dad and five others were honored by the Ganaba Association for their meritorious and untainted contribution to the legal profession in the country. He was so overwhelmed by the recognition that in celebrating with his friends, he described it as winning an Oscar award. If that had been here today, he would have perhaps compared this occasion to winning another Oscar award. 
Thomas Asamoa Toto Law Resource Center was commissioned. Database. The cost is twenty-five thousand dollars. Wow. The code family has made for us, and it's a rich database. The premium law database with about two thousand six hundred prepared cases, two hundred thousand titles, and it's made up of case laws. We have word constitutions. We have law journal library. Every journal about law in this world can have it. We have all the databases that you can think of, from law to any discipline. They are also there, and then. It can be accessed, we have, we have added it today, our main database, so it can be accessed off campus. Everywhere that you are, you can access the hand with database. So far as um, you are a staff, a student of k University, you can access it. Tech TV, experience educational television.